so we are going to create today this cute three flap project so this is today the instructions will be on the website okay you guys so this is what we're making today we ready i'm gonna try to here we go here we go Ba -da! they're like she has drank way too much soda i'm in the best mood you guys there's so there's good things going on from our home Wait a minute, that sounded weird. That's pretty cool. That's this is cool. This is cool. What are you talking about? Not pretty cool. This is cool. Hey, this is my Ezra Graham baby. Hello, Ezra. I love you. So you're gonna need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Your scoreboard. Okay, so you need your scoreboard, your paper trimmer. So you can decide whatever paper you want. I love these. Um I'm gonna use well. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so just cut off the strip on your paper and you are going to want to create with this, this book over and over, you guys. So on your paper, if you have a strip along the bottom, doo -doo -doo -doo, here we go. Okay, you're gonna just take that and just make sure that it's 12 by 12. Make sure. So on your 12 by 12 paper, on one side only. So one side only, you guys. You're gonna cut. You're gonna cut. You're gonna cut it at 11 and three fourths. Um, this is Floral Market. This everything I'm using today, you guys, is Floral Market. So you're just gonna take your trimmer, and this is the only time you need your trimmer. So after you cut off 11 and three, did I do that right? Oh, nope, I didn't, I didn't cut off quite enough, so. Okay, so once you cut that off, it's gonna look about that size. So I wanted to just show you, because sometimes people go like, what is 11, th so basically, let's pretend that, you know, so on one side, cut only 11 and three fourths wide. And now your trimmer, you do not need your trimmer at all for the rest of the project. So I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna put that aside. Give it to your lovely assistant. You're my lovely assistant, and I'm gonna take a, a, a drink of my Diet Mountain Dew. Okay, now, this piece here that you have, um, you do not need, so you're just gonna take it and throw that away. So now, you have a sheet of paper. Now, and on the, so you cut it on the, on the side where you cut 11, three, four, so just the same side you cut it on, you're gonna put it in your scoreboard, okay? Now, what you're going to do... How much do you cut off, they ask? Uh, um, you're, well, basically... You make it 11 <laughs> Yeah, so 12 inch. So you're going to come in the two lines from 12 inches, so 11 and 3 quarters. So you're just taking off that very, very small piece. Okay? So on your scoreboard, now you have a piece of paper. It should be 11 and 3 um, quarters wide. Does that make sense? So right here, if you can see my paper, is 11 and 3 quarters. So it's just a little bit that you're that you're taking off. So on your instructions, it will tell you that you're gonna take your 12 by 12 paper and cut on on just one side, one side only, 11 and three to make it 11 and three quarters wide. Okay, are we good? Okay. Now along this same side, don't flip it or anything. On this same side, so on your 11 and three quarter inch side, you're going to score four different lines on this piece here. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the measurements. Three and three quarters, and at four. So you're gonna score it right beside each other, three and three quarters and four. So you're gonna come three and three quarters, and sorry, I will repeat this a lot just because I know that it, it just helps for people to, to get the repeat. So your first score is three and three quarters, and your second score is gonna be at four inches. So that's just two lines after, if I can do a straight line. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just go over that again. Three and three quarters, score that. And then you're gonna come over at four inches and you're gonna score that. Cool, okay, so then that is two lines right beside each other. And then you're gonna come over and you're gonna score it again at seven and three quarters. So that again, seven and three quarters. 
and then again an eighth. So seven three quarters we're gonna do. Seven and three quarters. And then at eight inches. So that is four score lines on this side. So again, that's seven and three quarters, and then at eight inches, you're gonna score two lines. Are you laughing at me? You said four score, and I said four score and seven years ago. Oh my gosh, you need to stop. You know, Brian, you you're crazy. Okay, so I love you guys. I hope you find my husband entertaining because sometimes he thinks he is. So again, we've scored four lines on this shot sheet of paper. We've scored at three and three quarters. We scored at four, so these two lines are together, and we've scored again at seven and three quarters, and then we came over at eight inches and we scored. So you have four nice score marks. Okay, now everybody watch this. So you're gonna take this sheet of paper and you're gonna flip it to where it's now 12 inches wide, okay? Now you're gonna flip it so that you, on the side where it's 12 inches, because remember that was um, 11 and three quarters. So everybody make sure that you're gonna flip it because your lines are, we're gonna do two more score lines. Are we doing okay? Okay, I'm trying to go slow enough. I know, I know how this is, you know. So now you're gonna do two more score lines, everybody. So you're gonna score it at five inches. So five inch mark, you're gonna come in and score it five inches. Again, five inches, and then one more score line on this side at 10 inches. And you're gonna score it at 10 inches. So on this side, you've scored it on five, at five inches and at 10 inches. And by the way, I have loved all of you. Please keep sharing. Please share this video. I cannot thank you enough for the reviews, for the shares. Because what you're doing is allowing so many more people to, especially during this time, to be able to use the products that they have to create with me, get to see Brian's crazy, very hairy face, but we love you, babe. It's okay. <laughs> so again, we've scored at five inches. Doesn't that feel therapeutic? And then we've scored it at 10 inches. And now guess what? You can put your scoreboards away. Scoreboards away. You can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six score lines. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just, I, I like to create it with the small flaps at the top, okay? See this right here, you have, the these are basically one and I think it would be one and three quarter inch sections of the top. So you're gonna have these two larger pieces down here and then you're gonna have these down here. Now this is where you're going to need a pair of scissors. What you're gonna do, so everybody, before you cut, I'm gonna show you what I want you to do. You're gonna cut the two pieces up to the top to the first score line from here to here on both of these pieces. Now stop at the score line and then you're gonna cut the bottom only along the bottom and the bottom to these score pieces. Now, before you cut it, I even pre-did it to show you what you're cutting. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this so that it makes a little bit of sense now. You're going to cut till this section here. I hope this helps. Um, so you can see you're gonna cut to here and you're gonna cut to there. You're a good teacher. I wish and, you taught me math in high school. Oh my gosh. Well, you do know that I don't know how to do math. Well, That's a problem. You, you would have probably failed. And then, and then you're going to cut out these two bottom pieces to that section there. So I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to, trying to just kind of show. Yep. That's a good visual. Okay. Is that a good visual? I hope so. I, I want to make it easy. I know you're at home. I know this is a virtual class, but I, I do love and appreciate you being here and I don't want anyone to go. He's a horrible teacher. Okay, so now with that, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut along the bottom. And of course, you could use your trimmer, but it's just as easy to use your, your scissors. And I'm gonna give you a little tip and trick that I do at this point. So I just cut my lines and you're gonna do that on all four. And remember, just go up to that fold, okay? There we go. And we're gonna cut that. You guys, you're gonna be so addicted. I predict 
you're gonna keep making these. You're gonna make several of these, okay? So if you see what I just did, you guys, and I'm gonna fold this up just to show you what I've done here, okay? And I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on this, this book. I really love this book. Okay, so we have this right here, okay? Now, you're going to do the same thing and you're gonna do the two smaller pieces. This is the top of your mini book, you guys. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to come in and I'm gonna cut Brian's beard. I mean, oh, I'll oh, just no. get in the paper. Okay, so then, same thing. I cut one here and then I'm going to cut the opposite side. We decided to come to my studio and film today. I hope it's okay, the lighting, because we do have a lot of lighting in here. I do see a glare. Okay, let's, okay, here we go. Okay, so I cut those, and so then again, if you watch, I'm just flipping this here. I'm gonna flip that down, and I'm gonna flip this down. I really love this paper, by the way. This is so pretty. Um, what I like to do now is, the reason why I like to fold this is then I flip it over, and this is my tip that I like to do, is then I can really see where I need to cut these pieces out. So you're gonna cut these pieces that you've cut. You're just gonna take it, and I like to fold it over. Just then I can really see where to cut it. And that's why I don't use my um, trimmer. You could use your trimmer, but I just don't. And so you can kind of see because we're cutting these pieces out, and so I just fold back these pages so that I can get a really good view of where I want to cut it, and I can make sure it's nice and straight. I'm gonna do this right here. Okay, that there. So these are all, these four pieces are just, you can take those and create confetti, throw them in your trash, and so now look what we have here. We have these two, these these basically six flips or flats I should say and so you can see these two score lined here and what you're gonna do is now is the time to go ahead and along your score lines score those you could do it with your scoreboard or I just to be honest it's pretty easy for me just to go ahead and I will score those on both sides and I will just show you that so you can see you're creating a like a pocket if that makes sense. So I scored those, um, and hopefully that makes sense how I did that on both sides. And then I'm gonna do the opposite side. And um, I did get a lot of you emailing me, asking me my favorite scoreboard, and I don't have a favorite. I really don't. I like the score pal, but I will tell you I do like, um, I really like the Martha Stewart one, but not like, it's not my favorite because there's things I don't like about it. So there you go. Um, my, the perfect one would be, I don't think it's designed yet, so I need to talk to the stars, <laughs> right? Okay, so I have scored these. Like, like I said, you could totally, um, you know, do it another way, but what I love about this, look how good that looks. If you've done a really nice score line, you can really tell where that's going to come. Now, this is what I like to do. You don't have to do it, but I love to corner round. So at this point, I'm gonna corner around my corners, okay? So that's just me. If you, if you like to corner around, go for it. You don't have to. This is just something that I like to do. Oh, you know what I do wanna do though? I, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Maybe, actually, I'll show you something too, that a little tip that I kinda of learned too. Cause sometimes, let me show you when I fold this up, is totally fine. But sometimes if you think you're, there's too much there, you could trim this as well, but it's totally fine. So I'm scoring. Um, so on my bottom flaps, these are gonna be my bottom, I have corner rounded, because I think it just looks really good. And then, guess what? I'm gonna do the same thing to my top flaps. So I'm gonna take my punch here. If in doubt, corner round it. Just kidding, it's kinda silly. Okay, so then, I'm gonna go here and here. There we go. Okay, now I have corner rounded all of my flaps. And this is the fun part is you can decide how you want to close your book. So I am such a fan of Velcro, the Velcro dots. And they come in white, they come in, you can find clear by the way too. Um, and I have black on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. And, and so you fold this up. And so this is my 
kind of suggestion what I do. You can do what works best for you. Now, um, you don't have to have it go down. You could have it to where the flaps just completely stay up. But I take my two dots that are together. So what do you call those? You call them like chads or the two, you know, so the top and the bottom, whatever you want to call it. And so when I put it on, I like to visually, I want to put it close to the top only because if you put it too close down here, what happens is sometimes it's hard to open. So I just do that and then I put them together and then I fold it over because then I have the exact placement I want. And then I take a good, I take it and I just stay down, stay down. Yeah, that's what I do. And then you think it's funny? There you go. Behave. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. I'm gonna take my Velcro and I am going to, we're gonna decorate this book by the way. This is something I've learned from trial and error, like, cause you want it to meet up if you're doing Velcro. So then I flip it over and again, I press that really good and then I open it up. There you go, how cute is that, right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, you could do different colors, but since no stores are open and this is my life, I like to put it on the flap so I can kind of visually know where I'm gonna put it. Again, I fold it down, open it up. I really press it on because there's nothing worse than open it up and it not coming. So then, okay, here's, look at this, you guys. So then you fold it in, and then you fold it in, and you created the cutest little flip book, okay? So um, I'm going to show you some of my tips and tricks since I knew this was gonna be kind of fun. So I am addicted to seam binding. Okay, so a lot of times, and I've actually come out with this because um, sometimes to match my lines, but seam binding is awesome. So I have this is a rubber band. I use rubber bands all the time to close my books. Um, this is a size 33. You can get them on Amazon if they still have any. But this is, I just buy these um, from Zipper Top. It is a online website because I go through so much and because it's 100 yards. You probably don't need 100 yards, but just showing that. Okay, so what I like to do um, for my books, and I wanna just kinda show you, because this one's a little bit decorated, so this is the exact same book. This is, this is the bold line, and this is, I just use stickers from, I'm pretty sure, oh, it's the Go For It line, and this is Ezra. You can see I've got little dots here, so I just wanna show you what you can do. So. You could put the photo on your inside flap. You could put your stickers here. And then what's really fun about this is, here you go, so it opens. And then what you could put sticker gems, if you like, along the top. Because I think that's really fun to like just add some of the, um, you know, just it gives it some a little, a little bit of, what do you call it, pizzazz. I mean, I love that. And so then you can decide, like I put three of Ezra's pictures here and then I'm ready to. So you can see this is, I just have this and then open that. Now, the reason why I want to show you this book, you guys, is one, I'm going to add the Velcro just to show you, but I want to show you, hopefully you can see, um, something that people ask me about all the time is the little stickers. Because if you're not, say, a planner or a card maker, people go, well, what can I do? That one came off, so let me just add that. Okay, here we go. Um, I have people ask me all the time. Now, you're going to say, okay, Teresa, but this is going to go on your daughter's face, and it will. And so what I might do on a situation like this where I don't want this flap to go on my daughter's face, I just realized that, I, there's no rules. I'm actually going to, oh, gosh, to be honest, I realized I didn't have it closed. Oh, now I can go back. But I was just going to say, that's one thing to do with Velcro is if you're afraid it's gonna go on something that you don't wanna cover, just move it over, because there's no rules. It's one of those things that people really don't see. Okay, so then again, I'm gonna do the same thing before. I'm not, do, okay, this is totally fine to go there. Put that down again. I'm gonna, so I deliberately have the six pieces, but I wanna show you what you can do on the inside of your album. So here we go. Here is your album, and again, so look how cute, just putting like love this love, adding your stickers on your page. But now I'm gonna open this up. I just added the Velcro. Here we go, added the Velcro here. So look what I did, oh, that one, see how that one did? Cause I moved it too much, there we go. Let's get you down there. Oh, here's a little tip. If for some reason this kept coming up, I would add some clear glue on this. Okay, so then you can see 
There's the word happy. I'm gonna do this up just a little bit. So there's the word happy. So I really love adding um, like the stickers along the top because I think that's really cute and it kind of tells a story. Like I did the word smile for Ezra because that's all he does is he he's a smiler. You know, he does love to smile. So I just kind of think that's really, really fun. And then if you notice here, when you open up, what I did is because of the quarantine, I have a photo of me, you know, talking to Ezra. But then I have... I'm a big journaler, and so I said, you're a warrior the moment you were born, you fought, because we had a kind of quite, quite the scare when he was born. And so I have that on the on his little mini book there. And so you, you can still journal. Like, you don't have to put photos on this. You could journal and tell everybody a story, okay? So then the same thing you can do on this page. Like, right here, it says, I am a survivor. This boy, like, gave us quite the scare when he was born because he wasn't breathing, and they had a hard time getting him out. And not only was he in danger, but my daughter was in danger. And so he is a survivor, you know. So I love that. You can tell. So you could put just two photos. And then that tells a story there. Okay, so on this one, on my third flap. Um, so again, I put Ezra Mauro Zuniga. You are the most happy and calm baby boy. Because he really is. And so you can see I just have a card here. And I just, I like to underline handwriting because I really feel like it makes that project stand out, add a little bit of coloring. People thoughts. are asking what kind of journal pen do you use? Oh, um, mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. The Teresa Collins journaling pens, I really use those and I use them all the time. So there you go. That is how, um, so yeah, that's my pen. I use, it's black ink. So they're, they come in a three set. Oh my gosh, you know they're here. Where, where are my pens? I literally just, um, that's so funny that you say that. I was um, just redoing my desk, so now they're not there. So anyway, I think I gave one as a prize giveaway. So three, a set of three, a pink, a black, and a yeah. white. Go figure. That's yeah, such a shocker. So With gold accents. Yeah, that's so funny. I Well, I know that there's some in here, so I was just like, okay, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so here we have this. And um, like again, like I said, you can take just like I did over here for Floral Market. I wanna show you another example of the same book, okay? So this is one I did with this paper here. So this is just another paper. And you really wanna get a good substantial paper, but you also want to get like a double-sided, if that makes sense, that really does make it pretty. And so on this one, you can tell that is the same seam binding and I always attach it to my ribbon. Really pretty there. So then I'm gonna take this off. And this was Zach and Aiden, they just got married. Um, and this was the night before they got married. And so you guys, if you ever take a workshop from me, you know these are my sequins. We actually have some of these on sale. If you're wondering about sequins, we have those on our website. I just noticed the other day, they're in the last chance section and they're gold sequins. I was like, how's that possible? Can I don't wanna sell so those. But I love those, I love these. Cool. Whatever. Okay, so look here. So this is corner rounded. So I did corner round the front of my book. So if you like that, you could corner around. If you don't have a corner rounder, you could take your scissors and cut around the sides of your book. So I wanna show you the same project with the photos of Zach and Aiden, okay? So you open it up. Oh, look how pretty this is. And so this is, look how stunning that is. It's so pretty. So you take it and you open it up again. And so notice I didn't put any gold on the top here. I just had the three flaps. I've got the photos that we had a family, um, we did family photos the night before, right? And so you open this up, Velcro again, and then we have, look how, and this is just showing a very, very simple, there are six photos inside, and um, I, I use my stickers again, like your star, love this, love, some shine bright, and then I have a cute little mini book from one sheet of paper, you guys. These are like the perfect gifts because people are like, what? You made me a book. You made me a project. Well, I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. 